what's up today i want to share with you my recipe for a battered fried cod very classic and traditional greek recipe a few of my own little spins with the help of my neighboring greece kiriadina absolutely delicious and very very easy to make so first things first i'm going to work on my batter typically they use regular all-purpose flour you know baking powder whatever yada 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 in this case we're going to step it up by using one cup of self-rising flour is going to go into this i'm going to do a little pinch of salt for this i'm going to do some ground pepper a little paprika this is a little trick that I find adds another little depth of flavor to the batter and what we're going to do is just mix this all together real quick nothing complicated the trick to this that makes it extra light according to my neighbor Kirdina and I will agree is equal parts of club soda The consistency you're looking for here is a little thicker than a pancake batter, but a little thinner than a waffle. Right, so this is looking really, really good. One last little kick to this. A teaspoon of red wine vinegar right into the batter. So now that my batter is mixed and you can see all the little bubbles of lightness happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, put this in my fridge for 10 minutes, let it cool and rest, and then we'll get on with it. All right, on to the next part here. I'm going to get my frying pan, put this on, and let this start heating up. The trick here is really, really hot oil. And for this, I'm using veg oil to fry. And I'm going to be adding in here a generous amount. I want an inch of veg oil here and I want that really really hot so now the star of our show are cod fillets I'm gonna introduce a little all-purpose flour I'm gonna dredge the cod fillets in the um, flour before I actually put them in the batter the key though as well to this or another trick is make sure that your cod is very 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 dry now the purpose of actually dredging when the flour before you actually um, put them in the batter it helps the batter stick to the fish my batter is just out of the fridge it's ready to go the trick now isn't to remix it it's just to kind of break the surface that's it so now I'm going to take my cod fillets completely cover them coat them in a light layer of um, of all-purpose flour and uh, put them into my batter and i'm going to do the same for all of them i'm just going to grab a tong because you want to have one hand fairly dry or do it as clean and neatly as possible so it's going to dip these all nice just like that Get the excess off. Now, traditionally, on March 25th, which is a National Independence Day in Greece, we serve these up with uh, skordalia, that uh, potato and garlic spread. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. 